James Kaufman, World News Report today. Comet 3i Atlas finally has a visible tail. New pictures. For whatever reason, NASA has refused to release its images of Comet 3i Atlas taken while it did its Mars flyby. Even Congress people have been denied after their request for the pictures. This is beyond weird, unless we really don't have rovers and probes to Mars yet. It wouldn't be the first time NASA's lied to us, and Mars is 36 million miles away. Well, they say the space station is 200 miles in the sky. Big difference. The good news is we have a lot of backyard astronomers taking pictures of the comet. So sorry, NASA, no problem. We have our own pictures. On November 9th, Frank Nebeling and Michael Butchner used a telescope in Spain to take these two pictures of the comet in the pre-dawn sky. Now, you can actually see that it has a tail here and an anti-tail in front now. Now, I don't know if it's gassing or what's going on, but this is the first time we've really captured it with a tail. Here's that photo enhanced. You can see the anti-tail in front and the tail. Now, I'm not sure if the tail is facing the sun as it's supposed to be or not, but this is what they have shown us here. Again, this was taken in Spain. This was taken on the 9th yesterday. Despite the comet's location in the sky and interference from bright moonlight that's at 82% illuminated, the two were able to capture this image with nice details. The picture is heavily processed, the second one here, to show the anti-tail on one side and the smoking tail on the other. Now, I don't know if it's made up of ice and gases or what it's made up of, but I'm sure that it has been analyzed by NASA, right? Other amateur astronomers have been photographing Comet 3i Atlas as well. This is a recent picture of the comet, and it shows really more than one tail. It shows four or five plumes or short tails. You can see them coming in different directions here, and maybe an anti-tail here. They've actually put these white stripes up where they have identified these tails or anti-tails. Now, this picture was taken on the 8th by Michael Yeager. Again, the tail structure appears to be changing from day to day. And today, it finally has a fairly normal tail, although this tail usually shows itself as it approaches the sun, i.e. its perihelium or closest approach to the sun, and no tail showed itself. Monitoring the comet seems to be encouraged by governments from around the world, although NASA has refused again to release their photos. The Chinese government did release their photos the other day, which I did show you guys. Now I want to talk about one more thing, even though we have discussed it once before. What are all the streaks in the photos? These are satellites, and they say that most of them are probably Starlink satellites. We know that Starlink has at least 8,000 satellites. We have other satellites also obscuring any ground-based telescope. And these are not only U.S. satellites. These satellites have been put into orbit by several different countries including the ESA, the European Union group of countries, uh, the U.S., including places like China, Russia, even North Korea, of course, India, 
And let's not forget Japan that's been launching satellites from at least the 80s. I wanted to show you all just a small group of the satellites that are being, well, tracked by NORAD. You can actually hit one of them. There's GOES-13 right there. Launched in 2006. Now, these don't include the thousands of Skylink satellites that are in low Earth orbit, but these do include, well, almost 100,000 satellites that are being fielded by the USA, the United Kingdom, China, Russia, Japan, India, Pakistan, North Korea, and again, these are all being um, traced by NORAD, but we know that China is, well, much further on as far as tracking these because they're the ones that prevented the collision of two satellites just yesterday or day before. Now, we can grab any of these that we want to, and obviously, uh, if y'all don't know this, it was very easy to have a satellite orbit the equator and that's why you see so many of them here remember orange let's see what color we get orange is going to be well that's goes in and that's the usa air force there's the norad tracking number there uh when you hit one it lights up this is a USA Air Force satellite, NORAD number 29601, Navstar, I've heard of that. Um, here is another U.S. Navy satellite, the FLT SATCOM-8. The USA, it appears, has far more satellites in orbit than anyone else. Again, although it looks like uh, the traffic is being watched by China uh, and their traffic control at this point. Now, the stranger orbits. Can y'all believe that we have this many, this many satellites orbiting? The stranger orbits go way out. So if we can grab this one, Chandra X-ray Obser uh, Observatory. It's going to be NASA, Goddard Space, again. Uh, the ones that orbit the North Pole instead of the equator here were much harder to get into orbit, and they're going to be much newer. 2017, again, the equator was the first place we were able to have a satellite orbit Earth. But now you can see they're in every direction possible. Here's a Chinese satellite. Launched in 2011, and I can do this well for hours. This is right about well, just under a hundred thousand satellites. Again, not including the low Earth orbiting satellites, i.e., uh, well, Starlink, and the two or three different companies coming out with their own low orbiting satellites that will also. Uh, give us additional broadband service that would in include Jeff Bezos and his Amazon service coming out and that would include two large mega constellations being put in orbit by China right now one of them will have 40,000 new satellites orbiting Earth so to let you know it's busy out there, and we've almost fenced ourselves in, if you will. Surprised that any rocket can shoot out, and I'm surprised that there's not a, a collision at least once a week, if not daily, with all these satellites flying around. Let me know what you think in the comments below, folks. Crazy stuff. God bless. Share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible. Bizarro world.